So literally you got to stare at a brick wall and it's just like, I never ever reconnected with my tools there and never could, I did some projects but I could never fully get into the groove there and I did, that shop was like state of the art, you know, internet and TVs and cable and flat screens and like power hammers and every possible thing I could make it so I could work there and it just never happened until I realized, you know, a year ago, it's like, wow, I had to change my circumstances and get back to a place where I can reconnect with my tools. Um, and it's just, you know, that plays something about it. You know, now I look out and I see a waterfall and a creek and trees and like, it may sound kind of lame, but like, you know, like a bird flew in my shop the other day and was like so just sitting there and I'm like, wow, there's something living here. The only kind of birds I saw in Long Beach were helicopters. <laughs> so, How'd you pick the uh, students for your DVD? Um, the students for the DVD are just kids from the speed shop. We have 10 really, really cool kids in their 20s. One of them's 18, but, and they're really, really enthusiastic about learning metal work and stuff like that. And they're actually employees that work at the speed shop. But uh, I usually kind of, I manage the speed shop because I'm the owner, but I go in and manage and kind of supervise projects. And then on every Saturday at my house, we all kind of convene and I teach them new skills every Saturday you know, kind of tutor them, and I've been doing that for the last couple of years, and then full time since I moved to Austin, and then it kind of like was a given to do the DVDs, well hey, we'll pick a skill that they don't know yet, and we'll just teach them on camera how to do it, and it, it kind of, you know, translates better, I think, teaching them, because it's trial and error, some of it, you know, I think if it's like, you know, Norm Abrams on on New Yankee Workshop where like every goddamn thing he makes is like amazing. And no, he never, you never saw him throwing anything away like, oh shit, you know, and that never happens. Well, I think this kind of, we do that a little bit and keep it real where it, it like, I think that clicks with people more that if you're trying to learn how to make something that you, it's good to see someone else screw up because then you'll, you know, kind of tattoos it on your brain like, okay, I don't want to do that. You know, or, or and then lets them know that like, hey, you know, it's like, it may be frustrating at times, but if you just keep forging ahead with trying to make stuff, you'll eventually get it. You know, a lot of this stuff is just practice.